Hello, everybody, and welcome to this breakdown of the knockout that Conor McGregor inflicted upon Donald Cerrone at UFC 246. It was a really impressive comeback by Conor, and I'm going to get to the kick right away, but before what happened before, Conor came storming out of the gate through that big left hand, Donald ducked underneath, and he ended up in a clinch in which uh, Conor threw several shoulder strikes, which a lot of people have commented on online that uh, that kind of looks fake and it's not effective, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can speak from experience, that doesn't hurt. If they land well, like Conor did, he landed them smack into the face of Donald, and those are pretty hard shots to take. So uh, it, don't knock it until you've experienced it, if you until you have experienced it, because it's a uh, it's quite effective strike when done well, as Conor proved here. Now they break from the clinch. Donald throws a, a quick kick, and this is what happens right after. Now, as this is just a few seconds before this happens, Donald throws a couple pawing left hands, not committing to them. If you watch some of his previous fights, he likes to do that, kind of feel his way into range by pawing with his left and right straight and just not totally committing to them, but giving you something to look at, giving you something to worry. And um, it's something that clearly Connor has seen before, and he talked about it in the press conference. They studied Donald and noticed that there were some things he did, and he specifically mentioned ducking the head. And indeed, this is something that Donald likes to do or instinctively does, doesn't matter which one it is, because Connor used it against him. Now, before we get to the actual kick, here's a setup. And watch the fight again, you'll see that if you look at his hands and elbows of Connor, what he does, he, he creates a frame. So this is one of the ways that advanced fighters set you up, is that he creates a frame and nothing moves within that frame. So this is a visual trick that you can use to actually make your opponent focus on whatever you're doing, and then you do something else, which in this case means that if Donald is looking straight at the frame that he sees here, it's easier for that kick to come up and land because it comes up from underneath the frame. So a lot of people talked about why didn't Donald block? Well, he was it's a combination of factors, but this is one of them. So it's a really good setup by Connor. That's one. So I'm going to go slow and just watch his hands and elbows. Notice that as he advances, see there's hardly any movement here. Now he's going to extend that right hand to paw a little bit of himself, but at this point the kick is actually already started. And the setup has continued. So I want you this time to notice... Um, Connor's footwork. So watch his legs as he steps in, as he closes in. So you go, you'll see that he does this little bit of a of a shuffle and dropping movement, going a little bit lower, sinking into his stance a little bit to throw Donald off. So he this this is where it starts happening. You can see that that knee here, the left knee is bending, and that would normally mean that something happens right away. That is going to be a punch or kick, whatever. But you expect something to happen then and there and this is where he he doesn't do it he pauses here and you can see that here at this point it looks like something would happen it looks very similar to when he throws a left hand but he doesn't and here he's going to actually start the kick right after if you watch his back foot here you're going to see that his back foot is going to push into the floor after he has uh, pulled it up a little bit he's going to push into the floor and now only the kick starts. See the extension you see here, the extension on the back leg, that's what's going to drive a full power kick here. So that's that kind of little stutter step, that stutter movement that Connor does is what actually triggers that left hand from Donald, which is going to set up the kick because that means that he can't do a double block because that left hand is, is out of position to do a double block. Well, and I'll talk about that in a second. So here the push, see Donald's hand, see his fist here coming forward. So he's reacting to what he, th what he th thought was going to happen. Um, but all of a sudden that kick comes over the top. So see the extension of the left hand. Now at this point, okay, this is the full extension of Donald's left arm punched here. You can see that the kick is already underway. There is no way that he can bring that left hand across to do a double block. There's no way. He is behind in the timing. It's not going to happen anymore because this kick is picking up speed now. So Donald is going to be late if he wants to use a double block. He only has his right hand here to protect his face now. So that is the only thing that is left. Now, sometimes that is enough, but in many cases it isn't. Now, unlike in Muay Thai or kickboxing, 
there's very, very small gloves that these guys are wearing. So there's no way you can use the glove to absorb it. So you need that double block against power kickers. And one of the things we can say is that McGregor knows how to kick very well and is very accurate with his kicks, as we will see a little bit later. So that's the first thing. Second thing, as Connor has already predicted, uh, well, actually explained during the during the post-fight interview, I should say, is that they knew that Donald likes to move his head a little bit too much. So what he does with that stutter step and with that setup, with the framing and everything, is that he's trying to entice Donald to move his head offline. And in this case here, with that left arm extended and that, that other arm, the right arm being the only one here ready to block, well, Donald instinctively tries to move his head out of the way. Problem is, that is into the incoming path of that leg. So he's going to go into a frontal collision, basically, running into the kick. So notice he tries to pull the left arm across, and he flinches a little bit, and notice here how the right hand goes out of position. So it is no longer covering the side of his face, which means that that kick here can come true. So this is all happening in fractions of seconds. So that, and that's the, the beauty of the setup by Connor is uh, is that he's, he's just just getting Donald to do something he wants and then he lands it. So you see again, notice the hand position. Here the left hand tries to come across. There's no way he's going to be in time, and the right hand is out of position, and everything here is wide open. Again, this is instinctive. I'm sure obviously Donald is a is a good Muay Thai stylist as well, so he didn't plan on doing this. It's just instinctive head movement. And this is the moment of impact. So I'm going to go back. You can see Connor's foot is right here. And it's going to smack him in the jaw. And you can see the impact here. Boom. And it lands. Now, before we go on here, notice this beautiful end position by Connor. He's got his right hand relatively high. He's got his left arm is scissoring backwards for balance. And notice he uses the full hip turn. His hip is all the way turned over, which means that he has maximum range and he can generate maximum power with it. So that is beautiful technique and it clearly worked here. So we're gonna move on a little bit. So, and then obviously next part, and this is something that's very often missing that you still see in, uh, in, as a flaw with many MMA fighters. Notice now his posture here, he's in an inclined position. He's got a support leg here and he's got his kicking leg up here. Notice the balance, and this is a key point. Notice that Connor isn't off balance. And this is while he's moving forward. So he's regaining his posture. So he's, his body's coming upright. And he immediately puts the leg down again. And notice that from here, he is now in a right lead again. And he can immediately follow up with whatever he likes. Now he chose the jumping knee. He didn't have to. He could have thrown a punch, a kick, whatever. Anything that he wanted to throw, it would have, it would have been uh, very much possible for him to do so. Because he recovers well. This is, again, it's a key point that many MMA fighters still um, make mistakes against. And, and I'm not blaming anybody. It's just that you need to work on this kind of stuff. As you see at the highest level, this is what the fighters do. They maintain control. They don't just rush forward. Well, they shouldn't, actually. Let me put it that way. And here, fortunately, Donald gets hit. I see the whole sequence here immediately. Connor starts swarming him, comes, starts moving in, he's looking for openings, and he's just going to launch that big knee that didn't really land well, and, um, and then he managed to finish it off on the ground. So let's take a look a little bit at a different angle. Now, another point that I did mention before, I want you to see here, notice that Donald moves towards his right, which means that with all the setup that um, uh, Connor did, and with the framing that he creates here, so the framing he has here with uh, with the arms, and then you have here that big, no, I'll, I'll get rid of this and use a square instead. So that frame that he creates, which means that Donald is going to look at that, and all of a sudden that leg is gonna come up and he's gonna collide with it. So he's moving at a, an, an angle towards his right, Donald, if you watch it here. Okay, and you can see that here, this is a stutter step, the stutter movement that, Donald, that Connor did and the kick gets launched. Notice the extension here. So the instinctive pawing movement with his left hand. And notice the position of the right hand again. And I will see that the kick is going to land. Notice now that we see the right hand coming across, which is going to open up this right hand side of his face, which is exactly where the kick is going. And here, Donald tries to recover with that left hand, but you see his head is 
out of the way. So you can see that the kick now has an open line all the way up there. There's nothing in its way. And because of uh, the way he set it up, um, Connor's going to land flush. You can see that from here. See, this isn't enough. See, the left hand by Donald is here, but that's no way going to be able to stop that kick, a full power kick. It's not going to happen. So, and here we get, we see that Connor just lands with the the front part of his foot. So, um, a little bit more than he might have broken his toes, actually. But, you know, it, it was perfectly placed, so it worked. So, ideally, what you would like to do is land a little bit more with the lower part of the shin or even the foot if you like, but this is, you can see the, the toes are actually bending backwards uh, on impact. So that's just at the extreme end of his effective range. And it was perfectly placed at the back of the jaw and you can see that it just, it just lands. And notice again, see how far here that leg comes forward because of the full hip rotation that he did. And notice here as well how his upper body leans back, leans away from the kick, which means that whatever Donald throws when it comes to punches, he will not be able to hit Connor in the face. This is great technique, great timing, and using distance perfectly. So that is what elite level striking looks like. So then, of course, what we saw afterwards, he recovers well. Again, notice the recovery. Notice how his upper body here is, is maintaining in balance. He doesn't fall forward. He doesn't get carried away by the momentum. He just gets back into position, puts the leg down from here. And you can see that here at this point, he's standing here. And whatever he wants to throw, left hand, right hand, left kick, right kick, whatever he want, wants to throw, it's going to land. He, he has a clear shot as Donald is out of position, off balance, and he's having a horrible time recovering it, uh, recovering from that kick. And obviously, Connor moves in, he stalks, he's going to do that big jumping knee here, going to go up, but you'll see that it doesn't really land perfectly. See, it's a little bit off. And then obviously, he follows up. And again, see, as he lands, immediately, he is in position to strike. So again, this is always thinking about recovery of the technique, not just throwing the technique, but the technique doesn't land or it does land. It doesn't matter. Immediately, you need to be in position to follow up defend, to counter, to attack, to move, whatever. And you can see that Connor does that perfectly. He moves in. And Donald's having a really hard time recovering. And you see that that left hand is going to come at him. So you boom, that big left hand lands here. And that's pretty much all, all she wrote. Um, I feel a little bit sorry for Donald. He's a great fighter. I like him a lot. This guy has been extremely active in the sport. But um, we we just have to uh, come to grips. For some of them, it's good. for some people, it's going to be difficult. We're going to have to come to grips that Connor's back, and he uh, he's been not that active the last few years, especially after the Khabib fight. I'm, I'm sure that must have been a, a rough pill for him to swallow. But you can clearly see that he's you know he's really back at uh, elite level. Personally, I would have liked this fight to go on a little bit longer. Would have been great to see more action uh, going over, forward and backwards, over and back, uh, with both fighters rallying and so on. I would have loved for this to be to go a couple rounds, but I mean, nobody can complain that about this knockout, about such a great fight. So it'll be interesting to see where they both go afterwards. I hope Donald's okay, that he recovers well, and we'll see where Connor goes next. Nobody knows. Lots, lots of speculations. Um, He's going to go for the Khabib. Is he, is he going to go for Masvidal? Who knows? We'll see. Regardless, if he keeps going like this, I'm sure Connor will give us a bunch more uh, thrilling and amazing fights. Okay, that's it, guys. As always, if you want to support the channel, uh, like, share, subscribe, send it over to people you want. Check out the Facebook page, and you'll see that we've got a bunch of stuff there already, and there's a lot more to come. Talk to you guys next time.